Welcome to this demonstration on how to split and rejoin keys using the semantic encryption solution. Why do you split keys? You split keys to make the private key unusable. This ensures the private key can't be used to decrypt files until it is rejoined. Commonly, the ADK, the additional decryption key, is split. It ensures that no one individual can use the ADK for decryption purposes. What is splitting? Splitting is the process of breaking the private key into multiple files and distributing them to shareholders. The shareholders are allocated one or more shares for their file. They must manage their files. The share, the files, are encrypted to the shareholders' credentials, be it their public key or a passphrase. Rejoining is the process of bringing back together a predefined number of shares to reconstruct the private key. The shareholders must decrypt their shares before they can be used. For further information, refer to the following two white papers, one on splitting, one on rejoining. This demonstration has five steps. In the first step, we'll create a key named ACME ADK. We'll save the public side of that key to our desktop. Then we'll go into the management interface and import that public key as the organization ADK. We will then come back to the desktop and split the private key among four shareholders, each shareholder getting one share, and require that two shares be brought together in order to rejoin the key. In the fourth step, we'll create an encrypted file, and then last, in step five, we'll use the ADK to decrypt the file. To decrypt it, it'll require us to rejoin the key. The first step is to create a key pair to be used as the ADK. This is performed on the desktop. We'll name the key ACME ADK. We'll export the public key to the desktop. We'll use it later on as the organization key. Best practice, make sure you have a good ADK policy in place and published and all shareholders are present for the splitting. Let's start the demo by going to the desktop. So we'll open the semantic encryption desktop. We'll go to the menu under file. We'll have a selection to create our new key pair. So let's create our key pair. We have generation assistant that gets invoked. We'll click next and give the key pair a name, Acme ADK. Now we're going to skip the email. Because uh, ADKs by tradition do not have emails. We do not want to associate the ADK to an email account. We'll then accept corporate signing key, our managed domain, and then enter a passphrase. Best practice is to use a stronger passphrase than what I'm showing here. Clicking next will actually generate the key. Upon completion of the key generation, you're asked if you want to distribute the key to the global directory. We're not connected to the internet, so we will skip this step. The next step will be to export the public key to the desktop so we can then import it in as the organizational ADK. So here I'm selecting ACME ADK. I go up to the menu bar under File, select Export. Export the key. Now I get my export to. Down at the bottom, you're going to see include private key. We don't want to include the private key. We just want the public key. I'm going to save it into a directory that I made called temp. Open that directory and then save it. In step two, we'll implement the ADK. We'll go to the management interface to keys, organization keys and import that saved public key. Note, we can do this at the organization level or at the group level. We'll do it at the organization level. This will apply the ADK to all. Here I'm logging in as Joe. And once I log in, I'll navigate to Keys, Organization Keys. In the Organization Keys, the fourth pick down, well actually it's the fifth, is where we can import our organization ADK. So I'm going to browse, select my ACME ADK, and import it. 
we've now applied that ADK to the organization. Now the next time desktop clients check in, they'll be given the Acme ADK and they'll use that in encrypting all files. Now we come to step three, which is the splitting of the private key. The private key will be split amongst four individuals, Joe, Alice, Ted, and Lucas. Each will be given one share. Joe, Alice, and Ted, their file will be encrypted using their public key. Lucas will use a passphrase. As a best practice, all four people should be there to make sure that the process is properly implemented. Lucas must be there since Lucas is going to use a passphrase. Once the shares are created, the files are created, they'll be distributed among the four people, secured on their systems, then the original shares need to be shredded. Now let's go to Joe's desktop and split the Acme ADK. So we select the Acme ADK, we go up to Keys, Share Key, Make Shared. Bring us up the uh, shared wizard. My split key will be the Acme ADK. Now I drag from my desktop Alice, Joe, myself, and Ted as shareholders. Now since I dragged in their public key, they're going to encrypt their share to their public key. Now Lucas enters his name. Lucas must be present to do this and applies a passphrase to his share, to his file. Once we have the four shareholders, we'll notice that they each have an individual share and that we've told the system that we need at least two shares to rejoin the key. We can split the key. The shares, the files, will be outputted to my temp directory. And of course, in order to split the ADK, I must know the credential for this ADK, well, for this key pair. Enter the passphrase for it, and we're split. We get informed that once we split, we can't use it for decrypting. That's what we want. So we say yes, and now the key is split. Notice the red icon, which symbolizes a split private key. Now let's go take a look at the shares, the four files that we created. There they are, Alice, Joe, Lucas, Ted. We would distribute these files. I would secure my own, and then we would shred the originals. Now in step four, we're going to create an encrypted file. We're going to log in as Bob and encrypt a file to Bob's public key and the ADK public key. Here I'm logging in as Bob. And then I go to my confidential file and I say I want to secure a confidential file with a key. My wizard pops up. Notice the Acme ADK is already there. I can't delete it, remove it, but I can add my own key, my public key. So I select myself. Now I'll go to Acme and Bob public keys. Select the both users. I could sign the file, but have decided not to. I click next, and then my file is encrypted. There's my encrypted file. In step five, we're going to decrypt Bob's file using the ADK. In order to use the ADK, I'm going to have to rejoin it. It will require a minimum of two shares. I'll use my own share, which is local, and then ask Alice to use her share. Here I'm logging in as Joe. I go to the document. I want to decrypt. EGP encrypted and semantic encrypted de desktop, decrypt and verify. Wizard pops up and asks me to rejoin. We need two shares. I can go locally to my share. There's my share, I have it on my desktop. I open it. And now I have one share. Now I've asked Alice for help. So I'm going to get Alice's share over the network. So I click on Start Network. 
I say I'm going to identify myself with my public key. And now I'm listening. I'm listening for Alice. Alice logs in. Goes into her desktop. Goes up to keys. Share keys. Send key share. She selects her key file, her share, opens it, and now send key share comes up. She types in my IP address, 192.168.127.230.1. And clicks send share. Now, going back to Joe's desktop, Joe's sitting there listening, and all of a sudden, up pops a connected, and here's Alice's public credentials. We confirm that that is Alice. Now, going back to Alice, Alice has to do the same thing. She has to confirm that she's sending the key to Joe. She sees my fingerprint, sees my public key, and confirms. And sent successfully. Now let's go back to Joe. And notice on Joe, I now have Alice's share. I have my two shares. I now can join the key and the file will be decrypted. Ask me where I want to put the decrypted file. So let me append decrypt, decrypted to it. And sure enough, the file has been decrypted. Let's go to the uh, confidential file. So there's the decrypted file. We open it up and there's my document. Hopefully this has been helpful for you. Thank you for attending this demo.